Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you how to create Azure Team Project on the cloud from the local API file. Okay, so basically, when you are working from, from the local PC, you have created a, a API file working on the local PC, and now you want to be shared that file for the team. So in this video, I will guide you how to do it. Okay, let's get started now. And assuming this is the Azure uh, API file working on my local now. So now here, I want to convert this local file and upload it to the cloud. Okay, so before we working with the uh, Azure cloud, you have to make sure that you already have an Azure account and you already log in here. Okay, if you don't have uh, any account, you click on this login button here and you click on sign up. Okay, after that, you provide the email and password to create the account here. Yeah. It's very, very easier. Okay, so now here, because I already have an account, so I will click, click on the login button here to get access. Yes, yeah. I provide my email and then provide the password. Okay, login. Yeah already log in. So here on the menu, we have a team. Okay, you click on this menu and we have option e create team project from current file. Okay, I click on this one. Yeah, and then I will enter the team project name for this file. Okay, I can enter the, the file of the current local file or even I can change this to a new name, I will enter if the Azure demo by Tian VS minus cloud. Okay, and here for the working space, you can create new working space for your team, or even you can choose it from an existing one. Yeah, you select this one here. You want to select the existing. We have some space here, Tian VS space. I will select this one. Yeah. And after that, click on create new a great team project. Yeah. So now here, when you see the success message here, that means you, you have the created the team project on cloud successfully. So now here you have to save team project file on the local PC. Yeah, you save it. Here, for example, here. So we need to save the team project file on the local PC because our submit or send or provide an email. We need a email option cancel. Let me see. Spy. Yeah, so you see here we have a Azure demo by Chitviet minus cloud had been created successfully on the cloud here. Okay, open this one to see the view detail. Okay, so now here I will open this one in another account. I will share this project for another team member. For example, gnvs 24s at gmail.com Invite this user uh, Because oh, Okay, so here you see the workspace already there with gnvs email here because I already share this workspace for for this guy So now when I upload new file to this page this guy can see the file on the cloud Okay, so now here I will open this another PC and log into this GNVS248 account. I click on Google Play here. Yeah. You can see here we have the I can see the GNVS minus cloud file here. Okay. Good. And here I back to my main PC. So now I will 
I will convert this one. I close this one, and I will open it again. Okay. So now here I will create team project from this file, and instead of select the an existing workspace, I will create a new one. My new work workspace. Yes. Demo. Uh, sure. Okay. Create this one. Yeah. So now I have to save the team project on my local PC. Open the team project project file. Add error occur to send. If you unable to save your file, do to the error file recover file. Okay, exception. Submit. Okay, so now here I open back the Azure Cloud. I try to refresh this page. Yeah, you see I have a new space in my my new WS space here. Yeah, I have on also see the changes my not demo Azure file. Up, have been up the, uploaded to the cloud. Okay. Okay, open this one and you see here for now this was by had, had been created and only we can see this one. So now I will say this was by for another team member. Yes. Okay. I back to the other PC. I refresh this one. Yeah, you see we have a new, my new WS workspace has been displayed here for this account. I click on this one and you see I have a notification. This is, an, this is, this is a invite, invitation notification. When you click on accept and view workspace here to accept the invitation from the gmail.com. I can also see the notification in the email. Yeah. You click on this one to see. Okay, so after accept this invitation, I can see the workspace here with the project is changed my not demo Azure. Okay, so now here I will open the Azure on this PC and I click on the team and get and open team project. I select it from the cloud. Here, I have uh, my new WS space here. Select this one, open. Set this file on my on this local PC. Open it. Okay, very good. Here, I can see now. We have the the the, the Azure Team Project had been had been uploaded and download to this PC. Okay. So now here, before you work or modify any file in this team project, you have to check it out. Okay, check out. Yeah, okay, so when you see the green icon here, that means this file, is, you are check it out. Okay, so here I try to do some the modification for this. I will add some the a uh, link hyperlink I have a link 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 button or only the label
I change it login okay change the color to the blue okay so now I set it up first and then when the modification is done if I want to share this new chain to the team member so I have check in this one first I right click on this one and check in yeah so here I have to enter the notify as uh, the, the note for the check in at the new login link on the header okay so now here I back to my PC and I will select the team that okay so here I will open the open the team project file new Oh, okay open it. open it yeah I already have the login I can have it update on this PC okay so here if I need to check out it again on this PC if you want to add one more link on the header so here for example login on Add something like this. I save it up and then commit check in. Okay, back to an another PC. So here. I need to click on the team and get on changes from the team directory. Yeah, you see now we have a new link in contact us has been added on the PC. Okay. Okay, so I think that's all for today. And after you finish this video, you know how to convert the local Azure file to the cloud version and then after you convert it to the cloud version you can share the cloud link for another team member in the team so after that all of your team member can working on the same file okay so when we are working on the same file it, it will be easier for us to share some the update and some modification for the file later on okay thank you for watching bye bye and see you later